Okay, so first off, she is entitled to her own opinion 100%. But her video had issues around every corner. And it was made in a way that skewed information to suit, in my opinion, her goals. Okay, so issue number one is the sources that she used. Science Direct, Owl Equestrian, AVMA, okay and Equus Magazine. Not once did she mention that she reached out to the United States Saddle Seat Association, the United States Equestrian Federation, or any of the breeds associated with Saddle Seat to verify info and get questions answered. Then she used the image below saying that that was an ex-Saddle Seat horse. That image was taken from a genetic study on the genetics of swayback in saddlebreds. And each of those horses are three-year-olds. Top one and bottom one have an early onset lordosis. The middle one doesn't carry the genetic trait. And she didn't cite that as a source. She also used videos of five gated horses and said that it looks weird. Well, yeah, they're moving laterally at the slow gate in the rack. She should be able to notice the lateral movement of the legs. She also didn't include the fact that saddle seat encompasses many different breeds. Arabians, Dutch Harness, Frisians, Morgans, Hackneys. It's not just saddlebreds, but that's all she showed. She also talked about gingering. The United States Equestrian Federation does not permit that. Now, we all know there's good and bad apples in every breed and discipline, but that info right there clearly states not permitted. Oh, and she took her information from Wikipedia. She also could have spoken to any of the numerous vets that own saddle seat horses for their opinion. And there are a lot of veterinarians that own saddle seat horses. And there's a lot of information that she should have included, but she didn't. Like Bo here. Bottom picture, he has on a leather pad and a shoe. Top picture, he has on a plate. His motion is genetic. So, yeah, she could have done better. I was that one, needed someone who wasn't getting over you. When I move to the side, when I move, I ain't mind, and I know what you're feeling. I'ma take it for a ride, let me take it off your mind, cause you know it's a season. Okay, so I'm gonna show you three videos of my saddlebreds at play. So, this is Whiskey. Watch her. See her standing there at the doorway? No one's forcing her to hold her head like that at all. Okay, and here's Bo. He is at play too. Um, notice his head carriage. He is doing it all on his own. Yes, I'm making kissing sounds, but who doesn't do that? Um, it's important to know breed confirmation and breed standards. And here's three saddlebred geldings in a pasture. Um, there is no possible way for anyone to force them to carry their heads like this. It's in their breed. It's genetic. So, sunshine. Our horses are collected when we show them. Many breeds, many disciplines collect their horses when they're shown. So, education, it's important. Thanks, Sunshine. Because the riders sit so far back on the horse backs, which is another thing that's really bad. Everyone knows that past the 18th vertebrae in the horse's back, you should not have a saddle seated there and you shouldn't be seated there on what's called the floating ribs. So Ellie is going to demonstrate. Hi, Miss Ellie. Ellie, can you say hi? Is gonna demonstrate where these two saddles sit. We have this gel pad, since you say we don't use pads. It's right here on our withers with the gel pad back here.
So here it is close. Here it is right here, opening onto her withers. There's the gel pad, it sits right there. Mine is probably one of the largest cutback saddles we have as a 22. It's the biggest one they make. Right there's the size. And her rib that y'all keep saying we sit so far back on, that is that, oh, sorry, is that last rib. Okay, so my butt would be sitting right here. So let's draw that down right there and I'll put tape right there. I had, and if I had somebody to actually video me, you could see exactly I'd be sitting right here. My knees would be right here in this group. Have you considered that maybe they just look like that? Like maybe there's a breed of horse out there that has a really long high neck. Natural variation exists within a species. Have you ever seen a person with a big nose? That's just how that's just how existing works is that some things look different than others. Just because it doesn't look like a freaking quarter horse doesn't mean that it's being abused. It's gonna come to me and say, but Raleigh, this is natural and the way they're moving right here is natural. No, it's not. I actually took the time to spend time around saddlebred horses that are not used for saddle seat competitions and they do not move like this. Although they do move somewhat like that, this is heavily exaggerated. She is equating a world champion five gated horse at the world championship to a horse that is not a saddle seat horse. So let's dive into that. One, the saddlebreds will be bred and they will either be bred for a sport horse or a show horse. And so um, some of the horses that you see in her videos are bred for saddle seat and some of them don't make the cut. So they end up going whether or not they go into the academy program, which we teach lessons on because they might not be world champion level talent or they go into the sport horse industry, which they excel in as being a hunter jumper, um, dressage because they naturally have that movement. It's like saying and putting somebody like LeBron James or Kobe Bryant in with your high school basketball. They don't have the same talent. They haven't had the, the skill set yet. And then what I find funny in the video is she actually says they don't have this natural talent. Well, then they do have this natural talent. is born to rage my saddlebred gelding. Here he is showing at dressage at Devon Barefoot in the four-year-old material championship. This is his natural movement. He takes low sweeping strides when he is barefoot. Here he is showing at a breed show in dressage suitability at age five. He is in a steel shoe with no pad. His movement is much more exaggerated with more motion through his knees and hocks with less ground cover. I have rapped in a program I did, a Weird Weekends episode about rap. Can you remember any of the rap that you did? My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. I'd like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. Make me wanna dribble dribble, you know. 